what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 2017 has got to be the year of the fuckboy. I mean, they're on a roll this year. They got the championship banner being held up, man. It's being raised on them. They walking around here with rings. We got a dude out of West Virginia who is accused of beating a pregnant woman and injecting her with methamphetamine against her will. 21-year-old Kyle Wilson Stores. He told the police that he struck the woman in her head, face, and torso and hit her on the leg with a baseball bat. And then just before fleeing on December 21st, he stuck her with methamphetamine against her will. Now, the woman told the police that this dude left her for dead and according to the complaint, she's 37 weeks pregnant. Police say that they are unaware of a motive. The plot thickens. They arrest him. They are holding him on a $10,000 bond. Now, this dude tried to take somebody's life and they gave him a $10,000 bond. Absolutely amazing. The lawyer for the, the dude, this dude, Kyle, did not release a statement because this clown can't even afford a lawyer. He don't have a lawyer. It was amazing what they said. They said that they are unaware of a motive. They're not sure what the motive was. How about he tried to kill a woman and her unborn child? Is that clear enough? Hell, is you talking about what the motive? Why, why does it matter? This fool tried, man. Another thing, too. This, he should have been hit with attempted murder twice, right? You got the kid, and then you got the mother. That's a double, right? He should be hit with at least two attempted murder charges. A $10,000 bond for somebody like that, you think that dude ain't dangerous? All he have to do is come up with $1,000 and he's back on the streets. Boy, the laws in America, man, is, is, is amazing. The judges, see, that's why it's important for you to vote your local municipalities. It's, it's very important for you to, to get involved in your local elections so that you can know who are sitting on those benches making these decisions. For all we know, the judge could be a, a myth head. You don't know. A lot of times these judges, they vote their behavior. You see a guy going to a courtroom and the judge give him a, a slap on the wrist, a slap on the wrist for beating down his girlfriend, damn near bringing her to an inch within her life, and well, an inch within death, and the judge slap him on the wrist with some one month probation type stuff, that's, the, that's a judge that's beating his own wife. I'm telling you, man. I mean, what do y'all think about this? Let me know, man. I need to know what y'all think, man. Is this a double attempted murder or what? And what should be really done with this dude? What kind of punishment do he deserve? I say inject that sucker with some meth and let his heart beat and pound till it's about to explode. And then inject them again and watch it explode. That's some good punishment. Unfortunately, this dude's genes are going to carry on into a new generation. That is very sad.
one thing about it, we ain't never got to worry about him being in the race for father of the year. Ladies, please, please, please. In 2017, you made a lot of mistakes with men. Let's hope that 2018 be better. In fact, let's not just hope. Let's make better decisions about the men that you choose to date. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.